Hi, this is Ms. Delosier, and this is a quick review over the differences between taxis and kinesis. So, taxis, or plural is taxis, um, is a directional movement towards or away um, from a particular stimulus. And if we're um, moving towards a particular stimulus, we would say it's a positive taxis, and if we're moving away from a particular stimulus, we would say it's a negative taxis. Um, and these stimulus, the stimuli can be anything. They can be it can be a chemical stimulus, it can be uh, light, it can be food, it can be magnetic, really anything. So chemical would be chemotaxis, light would be phototaxis, etc. A kinesis or kinesis, on the other hand, is random movement in response to a stimulus and because it is random it's non-directional movement so let's look at an example so let's um, have a stimulus here and we'll have a gradient so we're gonna have high um, uh, high stimulus at one side of the gradient and low at the other so basically the closer you are to the stimulus um, the more of of the stimulus you're sensing. So in this case a good example would be like a chemical stimulus. So um, an example of chemotaxis is in marine invertebrates. We've talked about how in marine invertebrates the sperm and the egg need to meet um, in the water. So the egg will actually give off um, a chemical which actually um, attracts uh, the sperm. It doesn't like really attract the sperm like a magnet but the sperm actually will move towards the egg through chemotaxis. So here's my sperm and you can see that it's going to just move directionally towards. So basically it's going to move along the gradient so it can sense as it moves um, is that like more or less. So it's basically playing a game of like hot or colder. Um, so if there's more stimulus then it's going to continue in that direction. If it was a negative taxis then um, it would it would do the opposite and it would go away from it. Um, in kinesis, we would have the same object where uh, ultimately we want to get there. And you can see underneath the D endosaria, I've drawn a little uh, roly poly there. So I've got my pill bug. And instead of moving directly towards that in a directional movement, what I'm going to have is I'm going to have random movement. And you've seen that when we did the animal behavior lab, that the behavior of the isopods is just kind of random movement until it, it gets to what it wants and um, that stimulus can be can be anything um, it doesn't it doesn't have to be food it doesn't have to be an egg um, there's all sorts of different stimuli for the organisms I hope that helps you clarify the difference between taxis and kinesis